Hi there. As we've discussed and seen earlier, music notes and rest live on a staff. A staff has five lines and four spaces. When we count our lines, we must remember to count from bottom to top. This may seem backwards, so don't let it fool you. We will also count bottom to top for space notes as well. For a note to live on a line, it is important that the line go through the center of the note head. That is the little circle on the note. This is also true if the note is filled in. A note will be in between two lines if it fits on a space. What we haven't discussed is how notes move on the staff. Notes moving higher on the staff have a high pitch. And notes getting lower on the staff have a low pitch. If a note is moving by step, you will see that the notes alternate or move back and forth between line and space notes. Now let's look at notes that move by skip. We will worry about leaps at another time. Notes that move by skip would move from one line to another line or even from one space to another space. Let's look at notes moving from line to line as an example. Notice that one note lives on line one, and the next note lives on line two. This is a skip, because we would skip the space between these two notes, space one. Quick check. Let's look at this example. Would these notes be a step or a skip? How about this example? Would these notes be a step or skip? And at last, look at this example and tell me if these notes are moving by step or skip. In our next video, we will talk about how learning these intervals will help you easily read solfege pitches. Thanks for listening and learning about intervals.